Hello dear students. In this session, we are going to discuss one of the most important trick for molecular orbital theory, MOT, from the chapter Chemical Bonding and Molecular Structure. It is very helpful for your NEAT IIT J preparations. So let's go for the application. What is the main application of this trick? Dear all, you can able to find out mainly three things. They are, first one, you can find the bond order. What do you mean by bond order, dear all? Bond order means the number of bonds between two atoms. For example, if you consider hydrogen molecule H2, what is the bond between two hydrogen atoms? You know, there is a single bond. So, bond order is 1. What about the bond between two oxygen atoms? You know, two oxygens are connected through a double bond, right? Therefore, the bond order is 2. And nitrogen, N2 molecule, when you consider what is the bond between two nitrogen atoms? That is three there is a triple bond so we can find out the bond order any of the molecule and second one we can able to find the stability of a molecule whether they given if they given different type of molecule which is most stable which is least stable that you can able to understand by this short trick next one you can able to say whether the molecule exists or does not exist these are the main three applications through the trick so, in order to do this experiment, we need a pyramid. Let us consider, this is the first set, dear all. Let me start from the 8 el 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 electron system. Okay, so here you can see 8. What is this 8? This is the number of electron. These numbers are the number of electrons and in which, let me place the bond order inside. What is this 8, 9, 10, up to 20, dear all? It is the number of electrons. And what is this uh, numbers which is present inside? That is the corresponding bond order. Means, if the number of electron in the molecule is 8, what is the bond order? That is equal to 0. Means, there is no bond. If the number of electron in the system is 9, what is the bond order? 0 0.5. How to memorize this pyramid? Dear all, listen. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and the top one is 14. Then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What is this numbers? Again, I'm repeating. It is the number of electrons. Now, if it is 8, what is the bond order? 0. That you please fix it. 8 electron system. What is the bond order? 0. Now, you add 0.5 in each successive steps. 0 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Add once again 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, 1. 1 plus 0 0.5, 1.5, then 2, then 2.5. And what about the 14 electron system? That is 3. So, dear all, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. So, what you are doing here? 0.5 we are adding in each step. Yes or no? Then, and the topmost is 14 electron system. What is the bond order? That is 3. Now, repeat all of you. The same bond order, repeat on the right side. Can you see 2.5, 2.5, 2, 2 and the same, what the, what are the bond order you can see in this side, the same thing you repeat on this side. Can you able to remember this one? So 8 to 20 electron system we are setting first. 8 electron, what is the bond order? 0 and 0.5 we are adding and topmost 14 electron, what is the bond order? 3. Then the same bond order repeat in the other side. Is it clear? Then what about the other lower electron system? See below 8, we have some other electrons, right? Let's take it that also. Let me consider one another principle here all of you. What are the numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7. This is the other number of electrons and the corresponding bond order. Please remember it's in another way. Please remember these four numbers all of you. 0 0.5, 1.5. What is that? 0 0.5, 1.5 from 0 electron onwards. Repeat the same four numbers once again. They are all 0 0.5, 1.5. Clear all? So, 8 to 20, please apply this principle and 0 to 7, please apply this principle. Which principle? From 0 to 7, repeat this value. 0 0.5, 1.5. Again, once again, 0 0.5, 1.5. Is it okay? This is the bond order. So, what is these numbers, all of you? This is the number of electrons from 0 to 20. What is the value given inside? That is the corresponding bond order. So, can you able to memorize this one? If you can able to memorize this pyramid, then remaining these three applications are so easy. 
So let us go for each application and how to apply each concept. First of all, we can able to understand what is the bond order. How to calculate the bond order for each system. Ready all of you? Let's go for that. First one, the pyramid. The same pyramid. Hope you remember. Again, again, I'm repeating. What is the pyramid once again? Pyramids are there. 8 to 20 electron first. Remember the bond order. 0 0.5, 1, 1.5 and up to... 3 and the same thing we are repeating here also. What about other student? 0 to 7. Let me take it out. 0 to 7 is ready. What is the value? 0 0.5, 1 0.5. Repeat once again. 0 0.5, 1 0.5. Yes, everything is ready. Now let us go for a molecule H2. I already told you H2 molecule, two hydrogens are connected through a single bond, yes or no? And therefore, what is the bond order in hydrogen? One. So, bond order of hydrogen is equal to what? One. Let me consider one another molecule that is O2. If you consider oxygen molecule, what is the bond between two oxygen dear all? That is a double bond. You know, double bond means bond order is equal to two. Bond order is nothing but the number of bonds between two elements to an atom. Okay. Next one. If you consider nitrogen, dear all, now let me tell you what is the use of this table. Nitrogen molecule, if you consider, what is the number of electron in N2? You know, nitrogen atom contains 7 electron. So, nitrogen molecule contains 14 electron. Yes or no? 14 electrons are there in a nitrogen molecule. Let me take it all of you. Where is the 14 electron? You can see the 14 electron is here. What is the corresponding bond order? 3. Clear all of you, 14 electron system, what is the bond order? That is equal to 3. So, the number of bond between two nitrogen atom is equal to 3. Next one, let me consider O2 plus. Dear all, O2 molecule, O2 molecule contains 16 electron because one oxygen contains 8 electron. So, O2 molecule contains 16 electron. What about O2 plus? O2 plus means from 16 electron, one electron already loose. So, what is left? 15 electron. Tell me, dear all, among 15 electron system, what is the bond order? 2.5. Can you see that? 2.5. Next one. O2, 2 minus. Dear all, O2 molecule, I already told you there are, there are 16 electron, right? So, what do you mean by O2, 2 minus? 2 minus indicate it gained 2 more electron. So, O2 contains 16 electron. 2 minus indicate 2 more electron. So, 16 plus 2, there are total 18 electron. 18 electron, find it all of you. Where is 18 electron? 18 electron is here and what is the corresponding bond order? That is equal to 1. So, bond order is equal to 1. Let me go for one another. N2 plus. They are all N2 molecule which contain 14 electron. Okay, 14 electron. So, N2 plus mean it will lose one electron. So, from 14, if it lose one electron, there are total 13 electron. 13 electron system. What is that? 13 electron system. They are all. What is the corresponding bond order? 2.5. So, clear all of you. This is the way how to calculate the bond order of a molecule up to 20 electron system. Is it easy or not? Yes. Now, we can go for the second system. How to explain the stability of a molecule? Very important. Stability of a molecule. They will give you a set of molecule. For example, O2, O2 plus, O2 minus, O2, 2 minus. Arrange these following molecule in the increasing or decreasing order of their bond order or their stability. So, let us calculate the pyramid once again. Let me consider the pyramid. 8 to 20 electron first. Hope you remember the bond order inside. Let me consider the 0 to 7 system. What is 0 to 7? Yes, here is there. 0 to 7. And what is the bond order? Remember, 0 0.5, 1.5. Repeat once again, 0 0.5, 1.5. One yes, pyramid is ready. Let's go for the application, dear all. Stability of a molecule, I am going to calculate. What are the molecules we have here? O2, O2 plus, O2 minus and O2, 2 minus. If you want to calculate the stability, first of all, you have to know their corresponding bond order. Okay, the, because the bond order, see O2 electron, how many electron? 16 electron system. O2 plus, how many electron? They are all O2 plus means there are 15 electron system. And O2, 2 minus means what? There are 17 electron. And O2, 2 minus means 18 electron. You know, if you know the value of electron, it is easy to understand what is the bond order from the table. Yes or no? What is the 16 electron bond order, dear all? 2. What is the bond order of 16 electron system? 2. What about uh, 15 electron? That is 2.5. 
all of you look into the table match it and o2 minus 17 electron that is 1.5 and o2 2 minus 18 electron and 1 and what is the relation between bond order and stability of a molecule listen carefully bond order is directly proportional to the stability of a molecule which mean as the bond order increases the stability of the molecule also increases are you clear the point so can you tell me dear all which is the most stable molecule here the one with the highest bond order that is what o2 plus then o2 then o2 minus then o2 2 minus see the order of the stability all of you so stability order is this one so by using this pyramid it's very easy to understand the bond order by using bond order you can able to say which is most stable and which is least stable clear all of you so two applications we completed bond order calculation and stability of the molecule one more is there can you remind can you remember that one more application is there existence of a molecule whether the molecule exists or does not exist that is one another look into the next application all of you existence of a molecule let me consider the complete pyramid once again this is our pyramid representation this is the key point in this one dear all if the bond order is equal to zero molecule does not exist so that means if the molecule having a bond order molecule can exist you know what do you mean by bond order bond order means the number of bonds between two atom number of bonds between two atom you know bond order zero mean there is no bond so therefore the molecule does not exist that's a meaning right so bond order zero mean molecule do not exist let me consider some of the molecules okay beryllium molecule fluorine oxygen neon what is the number of electron in each system beryllium you know the number of electron is eight electron because one beryllium contain four electron beryllium two is the molecule it contain eight electron what about fluorine there are 18 electron and o2 16 electron and ne2 20 electron system please tell me dear all what is the corresponding bond order from our table 8 electron system what is the bond order 0 and uh, 18 electron system what is the bond order 1 and O2 16 electron system what is the bond order that's equal to 2 and 20 electron system what is the bond order that's equal to 0 I already told you if the bond order is equal to 0 the molecule do not exist so can you tell me which all molecules are existing which of the molecules are existing the one which have bond order dear all which all fluorine and o2 molecules are existing because there is a bond order which all molecule doesn't exist dear all yes it's very clear beryllium and neon do not exist because their bond order is zero which all molecule exists dear all yes fluorine and oxygen molecule can exist because it has a bond order Hope you clear this uh, shortcut that is for the molecular orbital theory, bond order calculation, stability of a molecule and existence of a molecule. Is it clear all? It's a very helpful for your upcoming JE, NEET and IIT, even board examination also. So keep practicing all of you. Thank you. Bye.